Um, the philosopher I'll be talking about today is Thomas Reed. Thomas Reed was a philosopher born in Stratton, Stratton, Aberdeen, Scotland in 1719. For his early education, Reed went to King Cardine Parish School and then O'Neill Grammar School. At the age of 13, Reed attended the University of Aberdeen until 1726, when he graduated, when he, which is when he graduated. When Reed came of age in 1731, he was licensed to preach by the Church of Scotland. He had a career as a minister for the church until he was given professorship at the King's College in Aberdeen in 1752. And you, here you can see a map of Scotland and I've um, put a little mark beside the Aberdeen, which is where Thomas Reed was from. Throughout his life, Reed has some major accomplishments, like achieving his doctorate, writing and publishing his first book, An Inquiry into the Human Mind on the Principles of Common Sense. Reed also co-founded the Aberdeen Philosophical Society, nicknamed the Wise Club, with some of his colleagues. After writing his first book, Reed was given the Professorship of Moral Philosophy at the University of Glasgow. Reed resigned from this professorship in 1781. After Reed's resignation, he made his university lectures into two books that would then be published essays on the intellectual, intellectual powers of man in 1781 and essays on the active power of the human mind in 1788. Reed didn't have any hardships as the only one I was able to find is that he died of palsy. Although Reed did have some fame and fortune as he is still a well-known philosopher and he is remembered in Glasgow College, this is where his tombstone resides. Now here you can see there are two uh, paintings and I believe one sculpture of Thomas Reed himself. Reed's main interests in philosophy were metaphysics, epistemology, the philosophy of perception, and ethics. Along with these, Reed's main theory is the theory of common sense. The theory of common sense is when you use things that you already know to be true to confirm new lines of thought. For example, it would be like saying that gravity keeps things on the ground. Because I'm not floating, gravity is real. Reed was also a supporter of direct realism, which states that the primary object of sense perception are physical objects, not, the, not ideas in human minds. In general, I admire Reed and his life. It is very interesting to see how much, how much he was able to accomplish throughout his lifetime. I agree with Reed's philosophies, the theory of common sense, as well as direct realism. I agree with the sentiment that the theory of common sense speaks of, such as using already known facts to confirm other pieces of information. Thank you for listening.